spineless, coward, pathetic, waste of 18. That's right guys, that sums Arsenal up in the EFL Carabao Cup Final. What's up guys, it's Natri and welcome back to a different type of video. I'm going to do a video, with, see, um, doing my verdict on the, the final between Man City and Arsenal in the EFL Cup where Man City were excellent, the football they were playing was pretty good, it wasn't the best, but they just done enough to win. I thought Sergio Aguero, uh, Spencer Company, has been a leader for Man City for so long, he was excellent, and you can totally see the three players that scored, the company, Yao Silva and Aguero, were the three players that Pep Guardiola did not sign. He trusts these three players, because these three players have been the focal point. The spine of this Man City team for the past 10 years. I think mean, Sergio Aguero is the greatest Man City player to ever play for Man City. People say Dallas Silva, but Sergio Aguero has to score the goals. Dallas Silva has been unbelievable and I'm a massive fan of his. But Sergio Aguero has been, for me, Man City's greatest ever player. Uh, but what a player he, those three players have been. They've been excellent. The best team won on the day. And Man City, Pep Warrior gets his first trophy in England, so that ends any weird voodoo shit that this guy can't win in England so he's pretty much won the Premier League so he's going to win the double this season. Can he win the treble? That remains to be seen. Now that, now that I've got what I was about to say, excellent, excellent performance. Now, now that I'm about to say the way, I'm going to get on to Arsenal. Arsenal, for me, have become the laughing stock of English football. This is a team that does not know how to defend if you teach them how to, if you teach a dog to go and fetch he, will, it, it, he may not fetch the fucking bone, but if you teach the dog to fetch the bone, he'll fucking fetch it. Arsenal and Wenger does not teach these defenders how to, to fucking defend. It's basic errors you're taught at fucking eight year olds. You can teach eight year olds to defend better than Arsenal. I tell you one thing, if you ask fucking Saul Campbell or Martin Keown to defend in this Arsenal team, fuck me, they always show a bit of heart and desire because right now I look at Arsenal. They're spineless, cowards. I wouldn't even shake any of them players' hands. I'm not even an Arsenal fan. I'm a Newcastle fan. And seeing this as a fucking football fan, to go into a cup final and not even show any three things that I don't care if you have <coughs> tan or whatever. If you don't have these three things as a football team, you don't even deserve to call yourself a football team. Fight, desire and hunger. Three things. That's the biggest three things in football. You don't show that, you might as well just stay at home and call it and, and Fucking, I don't know, do whatever. Because that is not football. Arsenal, for me, have just become what they hate. They are a mediocre, bang standard club for club. Right now, you can forget about them playing for titles. You can forget about them playing the big trophies. They right now are the best of the rest. And never thought I'll say that on the, in, in the Premier League and also in Europe. Right now, when, when AC Milan drew Austin in the Europa League, they were laughing. They must be, ha, ha, ha. Best draw we could have got because Arsenal are rubbish. They can't even qualify for the last 16 of many competitions. They don't even go qualify for the last 16 of Europa League because they're not good enough. There's no, there's no fight. There's no desire. When I watch Arsenal this season, there's not one player that I can throw that, 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 that the open think, oh, he's going he's gonna to run a brick wall for Arsenal. This is the same old, same old. I keep saying it until Arsenal Wenger leaves Arsenal. That team will never win another big trophy. And I totally, un I totally get Arsenal fans, they have every right to criticise their team because this whole Hector Bellerin having to go at Arsenal Fan TV. Uh, you only criticise the team when we lose. Fuck you, mate. You can't even put in a fucking shift to fucking help the team. So why is every right? Arsenal fans have every right to criticise you. Every team. If my, if one of my players from Newcastle United don't put in a shift in, yeah, I can criticise him. 100%. You, don't, you have to put the shift in. You have to work for the team. You're not working for the team. And for me, perfectly honest, you need to get your facts right to Hector Bellerin because you're, you have been one of Arsenal's worst players for one many years, for two seasons now, because I haven't seen you put in one good game. I haven't said, wow, like, he's been one of the best fullbacks in the Premier League. He's not. You're not good enough. But I also, I also felt for Aubameyang, he just did not get any service. Like, if you don't give him the ball, he won't score. Yes, he had one chance, he should have scored, but to be perfectly honest, Man City defenders were all over him. It was going to be very difficult, but he should have scored that. But, a pop, maybe the line of Messi going to score one chance in the game. The guy needs more chances. You need to give him the ball. Megatarium wasn't in this game, I totally get it, he was cup time. 
But if you don't give if you don't give a in the ball, or even Lacazette at the start of the season, the fucking football, he's not going to score. And another player who I don't understand why he gets fucking praise. People rate him. I don't rate him. Is Ozil. He is the he is the worst big game player I've ever seen play for Arsenal. He's the worst game player I've ever seen play for anyone. For Germany, the German fans don't like Ozil because he doesn't show it. He, with, in the World Cup final in 2014, did he score the goal in the final? No, he didn't do fuck all in the final because Marius Gertz has scored the goal. He the guy came off the bench and scored it. The fact of the matter is, Ozil is a talent. He just doesn't show it. Uh, Ramsey, for me, is not good enough. I've said it from day one. They should, he should have been sold in the summer. Jack Wilshere, I like Jack Wilshere, but he's... He, he just not. He doesn't look fit for me. He just looks like eh, he doesn't want to go to tackles because he could get injured again. But Granit Xhaka does not know the defensive opportunity. Does not know how to defend. He's not a defensive field player. Defensive field players sniff danger, grab danger, and, and grab that midfield by the scruff of the neck. He does not do that. And the other one, and I keep on saying this until my heart's content. The goalkeeping position for Arsenal has been the biggest problem. For many a year. Ospina was doing some weird sh chip the ball shit to her chambers the whole game. And for me, terrible game. Had one of the worst games I've ever seen from Arsenal to go keeper ever. And the biggest one, players were walking the pitch because they're failures. And they are failure Arsenal. And for me, if Wenger doesn't change the mentality of that football club, I don't care who they can bring in. They can go and bring in some world class defenders. It probably will make a difference. Because... It, the mentality of that football club is is too nice. The, the players are nice. The, 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 the players are nice. The owners are nice. The, fa the fans are pissed off. It's just not. It's just too nice that club. It's far too nice. So they need to take a big look. They need to look themselves in the mirror and think what are they doing with their team? Because right now they're just a disgrace. They might as well just end the season now. They're not going to get top four. They're 10 points behind the arch rivals, topping them, which I also never thought I'd fucking say in the history of football. They've managed right now to sit back and think, yeah, the season's over, fuck this, someone else get this, someone else can fucking manage this team. Because right now, that's what I see. The players yesterday showed everything that they did not want to play for Wenger. And for me, the fact that it was a cup final, which every team that would, Newcastle, Leeds, Blackburn, every single team would love to play in the cup final, would love to be there. Yeah, it's, I know it's a Carabao Cup. Who gives a flying out? It's the fourth rated cup, 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 cup competition. But you still want to win it. You fucking fight too for nearly. We just in the goddamn final. And I bet Chelsea fans would love to be in the final of that cup. Yeah, I mean, it'd be a great, great cup, but it's still a final of a cup. The fact is, they didn't even fucking. Dis they were disrespectful to those teams who they beat. Nah, we don't care. It's a cup final. Yes, yeah, Man City. Man City went and played Wigan and got beat. Man City played Wigan in the cup, FA Cup final. And this Wigan team is not even the same talent as fucking Arsenal. And you can't tell me that, that, that Arsenal have less talent than Wigan. Wigan had three team, three things you need as a team. Fight, heart, and desire. They don't have that. Until Arsene Wenger leaves Arsenal, that team is not going anywhere. A massive win for Manchester City. They were the better team and totally deserved. What do you guys think? Put in the comments down below. Do you think I was a little bit of harsh in Arsenal? Do you think they deserve better than this? Or do you think I was right and I think that they may need a change or whatever? Put in the comments down below. I really like to get you guys' input. So guys, I end up doing my reaction to the whole entire Arsenal sort of Man City Cup final. Hope you guys are having a really amazing day and enjoy yourselves. Please like, subscribe, the natural.